It's Andre from High Performance Academy here. Let's check out what's been going on around HPA over the last couple of weeks. We have partnered with BG Racing to give away a set of their wheel alignment strings. Might sound like a fairly unusual piece of equipment. Wheel alignment and strings, it's not something we normally think of going hand in hand. And most of you probably, if you're getting wheel alignments done on your car, will be taking your car to a wheel alignment specialist where they put it up on a big four post lift and uh, put some targets on each of the wheels and use lasers and cameras to do the alignment. That's a great way of doing it, but of course for a race car it's not overly practical. We can't easily transport that sort of wheel alignment equipment to a racetrack. So it's not very portable, so if you want to make setup changes to your car between races or maybe you've got a dry setup and it starts pouring down with rain and you want to optimise that setup for a wet track, not really something you can do with a conventional wheel alignment specialist. The other element for us as enthusiasts, of course, that equipment is incredibly expensive. So it's not something that you're going to buy for your own home workshop. Strings, on the other hand, very, very portable, very, very cost effective. And I know it might sound like it's a bit of a backyardish technique, but it absolutely is not. Let's jump across to my laptop screen for a start and I'll sort of explain what we're dealing with here. So this is the BG string setup being applied to uh, our old Racecraft 86. So we can see here we've kind of got a bit of a frame that hangs off the front of the car. This is all adjustable so that you can easily manipulate it to suit any car and not that you can see it in shot but we've got exactly the same going on at the back. So basically the idea with this frame is that it is designed to support uh, this bar here that you can see at the front and you can see that I am just fitting one into the rear. The idea here is to basically uh, locate these bars at the front and the rear of the car and what we want to do is basically uh, locate those at the height of the centre line of the wheel. And then once we've done that we can hang these strings which you can see here uh, on those bars. The bars, as you can probably see in this photo, let's just zoom in a little bit, they do have some machined grooves on them. And these grooves are really, really important. They're the same on both bars, front and rear, and they're the same on both sides. First of all, those grooves allow you to adjust whereabouts the strings sit so that they're going to suit the track width of your car. What we want to do is align these strings so that they sit just a little bit away from the wheel rim because we're going to be measuring between the wheel rim and the string using a ruler. So we don't want them too far away. Conversely, we don't want them so close that they're likely to touch. The key part to this though is because of these machined grooves in these two bars, assuming that we at least use the same groove on the front and the rear. It's going to ensure that our strings are parallel to each other and what we do is we go around and we align them and square them up so that they're also parallel to the centre line of the car. Once we've done that, we've essentially got this parallel box around the car that is parallel to the centre line of the car and then by measuring off the front and the rear edge of the rim out to the string, that will allow us to measure our toe. The other element of doing this as well is we also need to measure our camber and that's done with a conventional camber gauge. These are a digital gauge that's just held up against the wheel. Now again you might think that this sounds a little bit backyardish but the reality is that if you've ever walked around the pits at any professional level motorsport event right up to the pinnacle of the sport and I'm talking here about uh, the likes of open wheel and GT3 race cars you will absolutely see the race uh, engineers stringing up cars and doing exactly Exactly this procedure so it is definitely not backyardish and it is a very accurate way of doing your own alignments. Now obviously there's a bit to know with this so uh, as part of this giveaway with BG Racing we are not only giving away the strings we're also giving away a suite of HPA's courses which will teach you exactly how to use these strings to get the most out of your wheel alignment. So once you're competent with that you can really easily and quickly make changes between sessions to improve the handling balance of your car, uh, to improve your lap times. The entire package there is $2,700 US dollars and you can head, head to hpacademy.com forward slash giveaways and that is where you can get your name into the draw. I'll get Sam to drop a link into the chat that you can click on and follow so it's nice and easy for you. This is the page you'll come through to. 15 days left for that giveaway to run and if you're not in New Zealand, which I'm guessing 99% of you watching are not, don't worry, we 
will ship this free of charge to your door anywhere in the world. All right, so that's our first element there, our our BG Racing string wheel alignment giveaway. Now I also wanted to just bring you up to speed on uh, what's been going on with our SR86. We are only four or so weeks away from the start of our endurance series. Uh, unfortunately I am actually going to miss the first round. I'm away for a wedding so that's a bit unfortunate but uh, we've still got two other rounds and a bunch of other racing. Uh, part of the upgrades to the 86 which were relatively straightforward it was just a, a freshen up of the engine uh, and the installation of our Bosch Motorsport ABS system and originally we were going to install the Bosch Motorsport ABS and retain the factory uh, to, uh, brake master cylinder so it's a dual circuit brake master cylinder just like on any modern car uh, but it isn't a racing style pedal box and this absolutely can be done but for a variety of reasons uh, and also to tie in with our uh, brake course that will be released reasonably soon we are actually going to upgrade to a uh, full pedal box so for those who haven't heard of a pedal box before it's exactly what it sounds like uh, we've got our three pedals our clutch our brake and our throttle pedal all on a machined uh, CNC machined base which you can see in this photo so the advantage of this is that it allows for individual uh, master cylinders for our brake circuit for the front and the rear circuit. So this gives us the flexibility to easily and quickly change the master cylinder size to get our overall brake balance in the ballpark. Then while it is a little bit hard to see because it is currently cable tied up, through the brake pedal is a bias adjuster. So this is a screw style adjuster and by screwing this in or out basically we can adjust the pivot point for that brake pedal and how much force it's applying to the front or the rear circuit of our braking system. So it allows us to get our mechanical bias into the ballpark. With ABS this is a little less critical because of course if you've got too much front or rear bias and you start to lock a wheel that's where the ABS system comes in. The Bosch Motorsport ABS will also based on feedback from what's locking and what's not will actually give you some input into what the supposed ideal brake bias should be so you can actually match that but of course even with ABS getting the mechanical bias uh, as close to ideal as possible before the ABS system actually comes in and starts activating is always desirable so that's what we're going to be doing there. Uh, our upcoming brake course will actually teach you how to size the master cylinders front and rear because this is one of those things that a lot of people really struggle with understanding uh, what size master cylinders to use and it's very very easy to have your mechanical bias so far out of the ballpark that no amount of adjusting the uh, bias knob is actually going to get you back where you want to be and there's so many things that come into this including the mechanical setup of the car, the brake size, uh, brake rotor size, uh, the calipers, piston size uh, and even down to the pad compound and of course centre of gravity, height uh, of the car also plays a big part of this so uh, the brake course that we will be releasing has a full worksheet that you can go through put all of the data in and it's going to give you some feedback on what uh, your bias looks like and uh, where that's going to sit or what you need to do to correct it uh, so we've got that the pedal box already fitted up in the car this is just a, a picture that I took while it was being dummy set up and uh, Brandon has been making use of our Peel 3D scanner in Fusion 360 so uh, what he did here a little hard to see from this angle but he used our scanner to actually scan the floor pan in the area that the pedal box is going to go in obviously we need a nice strong base for that to go in so that we're not getting any mechanical compliance when the brake pedal is being pressed hard uh, so he then managed to design and fold up uh, the little plate that you can see in this photo it's just tacked in at the moment but it's fully welded well in this photo but it's fully welded now and uh, that was really really quick and easy to do based on that scan whereas because of the complex shape of that floor pan uh, without the scan it would have taken a hell of a lot of time of fettling and adjusting that to get it right so uh, our 3D scanner is continuing to pay for itself which is pretty exciting. 
And let me head back to my notes just here for a second. Uh, I just wanted to also bring up our latest episode of the Tuned In podcast, and this was uh, an absolute banger. I managed to get Steve Morris uh, from Steve Morris Racing Engines uh, on the podcast, and if you haven't heard that name, Steve is one of the legends of the drag racing scene. Uh, he has designed his own SMX 4,500 plus horsepower bill. V8. Not only is that in itself an impressive feat, but he's designed this engine for drag and drive applications. Now, uh, this is where the likes of Drag Week, for example, where you compete at four or five different tracks over a week, and in between competing, you have to drive several hundred miles on the open road, towing basically everything to make that car go on a trailer behind you. And the challenge of driving uh, the distance that they need to drive and stop start traffic, idling for extended periods of time, that is very, very challenging on top of also being able to hold together with four and a half thousand horsepower. Uh, so really interesting chat with Steve about the process of designing and developing these engines, how he got involved in the first place, uh, also the facility that he runs which is absolutely world class. So if you want to learn more about high performance pro mod style uh, drag engines then this is the episode for you. Right, lastly, just a reminder, our giveaway, there is 15 days left for that to run for a BG Racing String Wheel Alignment Kit plus a, a suite of HPA courses so that you'll know exactly what to do with it. Head to uh, hpacademy.com forward slash giveaway to get your name into the draw. There is no strings attached, pun completely intended there. Don't need to purchase anything, it is absolutely free to enter and again we'll ship that direct to your door if you're the winner regardless whereabouts in the world you are. If you like that video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week and if you like free stuff we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.